to face a harsh reality, sometimes people part ways with the group to go and do their own thing. Let's sit down and take a look at how to handle this by managing the lifecycle of accounts in Bitwarden. Any self-hosted instance of Bitwarden that's powered by Vault Warden is going to expose the administrative section of the service. This is the place that allows us to tweak server-wide settings, take potentially destructive actions, and generally manage the instance. As you will see, this will expose several actions that we can take on other users. Due to the nature of Bitwarden's cryptography, however, there's not much that we can really do here. If we think it through, the desktop, mobile, and browser clients use the server to synchronize edits and to share different passwords through organizations. However, all of the encryption and decryption happens on the clients, not on the server. So the aspects of the users that can be addressed by the administrator are simply the presence of the accounts on the server and their membership in various organizations. Let's take a look and see how that's done. Let's start talking about the lifecycle of a user by starting with inviting a user. In the users section, an administrator can invite a user via any email address. We can see here now from the users menu that user two is listed as invited. If I go to create an account in Bitwarden and use that user two email, will allow me to create that account and log in as that new user. As user two, let's go ahead and create an organization. This is also reflected in the administration section under organizations. The administrator has the ability to delete the organization, but does not have any other ability to change anything from this page. However, in the users menu, this pop-up allows us to change the type of user that user2 is inside of that organization. So we can make user2 a user, manager, admin, or owner to change their role in the organization. In the admin settings, if we go to delete user2's organization, it will prompt us to confirm, and it will also prompt us to input the UUID of the organization now when we refresh user 2's vault, the organization has disappeared. Additionally, let's take a look at the options available to us for user 2 themselves. We have the ability to deauthorize sessions, which will remove any clients that are currently syncing to the server, disabling the user, or deleting them entirely. So if we go to disable the user, and trying to log into Bitwarden as user 2, will result in a message stating that this user has been disabled. Uh, Re-enabling the user, however, will allow that user to log in as normal. And lastly, deleting the user entirely will require you to confirm the user's account that you do want to be deleted. And after logging out, we can try to log back in again, which will let us know that the username or password is incorrect. This is also an indication that there is no such user on the server. Bitwarden is a very easy service to administer because really there's just not that much to be done. If you found that Bitwarden has been able to help you manage the users of your passwords, or if you have any questions about it, visit us at rcompose.com. And if you are ready to get started with Bitwarden, you can also sign up for a free trial of your own R-Compose instance today at rcompose.com.